as we chanted a couple of minutes ago, the Heart Sutra, uh, let me briefly explain the meaning and the historical significance of that scripture uh, this morning. We know Shakyamuni Buddha was born as a prince in India 2,500 years ago, and after he very acutely felt the dukkha, inherently dissatisfactory aspect of a human life, like all the age or sickness, death, encountering some situation that one would like to avoid, and so on. He left the palace to find out, uh, to search for complete uh, liberation. At the age of 29, he left the palace. And they say in his uh, mid-30s, he reached the supreme enlightenment and attained the complete nirvana. According to the Mayanan scholars, they say after enlightenment, Buddha remained in meditation in Samadhi for the following three weeks, three weeks continuously. During that time, he meditated a lot. How can he deliver? How can he deliver his message so that the average mind can understand and believe? and so on. And uh, during the three weeks in Deep Samadhi, they say he delivered a Dharma talk that is uh, collected in Avatam Saka Sutra, Huamgyang in the Chinese Avatam Saka Sutra. And uh, for the first uh, 12 years, he has taught uh, Agama Sutras. Agama Sanskrit literally means a sacred tradition. For example, the teaching of a Four Noble Truths. A lot of moral lessons for practitioners. It's basically contained in the Agama scripture. And for the following eight, the next eight years, he taught Vaipula scripture, Vaipula sutra in the Chinese, uh, it's called the Bangdeng scripture, where he taught uh, the karmic principle of uh, cause and effect, the love uh, dependent origination, and uh, so on. When Buddha reached in his uh, mid 50s, uh, he started to talk, he started to reveal the ultimate reality, so called. Uh, emptiness in Prajanya Paramitra literatures. He taught Prajanya Paramitra sutras for 21 years, for a very, very long time. Even though his audience, his disciples were very mature, the practitioner. Uh, there are 600 Pramitra literature. 600 is huge. It's condensed into one scripture. What is that? Yeah, the Diamond Sutra. <laughs> yeah, your, your word is also right. Diamond Sutra. You see the Chinese version of the Diamond Sutra on the scroll. It's composed of 32 chapters with the word approximately 500 words in the 32 chapter. It's condensed again. It's summarized again into Heart Sutra around 2,500, 200, a little over 200 words, just like the Scripture title says uh, it is the heart of all scripture. Prana literal is uh, 
the apex, the core, the essence of the whole Buddha's Dharma, and it is condensed into diamond sutra, again summarized into the heart sutra. Therefore, heart sutra is the innermost core, core of Buddha teaching, the essence of Buddha Dharma. It is not surprising, not just in this meditation center, in most of the Maya retreat centers or Buddhist monastery, wherever they hold the service, they chant the Heart Sutra. I think when I was in my late 20s, when I first read the Diamond Sutra, my teacher recommended to read that. Is there anybody who have read the Diamond Sutra before? Yeah. I have never seen such a book or writing which is self-contradictory, which does not make sense at all. For example, Heart Sutra, huh? no eyes, no ears, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind. What is more obvious that we have eyes, ears, nose, but from the point of a reality, these sense organs do not exist. But anyway, I felt the Diamond Sutra in that way when I read a couple of times. Then, all of a sudden, my eyes became flooded with the tears. I do not know why I cry. There is nothing sad in its contents. But I cried again and again over Diamond Sutra. Although I do not know still what it means at all. At that time, I felt I discovered my hometown. This is my true self, my authentic self. And um, whether it is a Diamond Sutra, Heart Sutra, why these look very much contradictory? It is because we view these scriptures with our own eyes, unenlightened eyes. Think about that. The earth is round, not flat. We can prove that in various ways, scientifically. But when I saw the picture of earth taken from moon, when I was in elementary school, it becomes very, very obvious. The, teacher, the picture showed the earth is round. When we, just like when we go out of the outer space and when see the earth, it looks a little different. Here, it looks a pretty flat, maybe. Likewise, uh, when we go out of our sense of a self or our notion of a selfhood, uh, then the world will look very, very different. The Heart Sutra or Diamond Sutra is the picture taken by the enlightened mind, enlightened eyes. These days when I read, read that, although I do not know what it means clearly, from one day I started to think there is a, not any writing that makes more sense than these scriptures. The original title of the Heart Sutra is, a, you can see, Maha Prajanya Pramitra Hiddaya Sutra. In short, we usually uh, uh, call that Heart Sutra. 
What does a sutra mean? What does a, this a Sanskrit uh, sutra mean? Scripture means scripture, but this a Sanskrit uh, sutra literally means uh, a thread that holds uh, things uh, together. Sutra. The English word uh, suture or saw, that has the same root, uh, binding together. Heart, hiridaya, the Sanskrit hiridaya literally means uh, heart. It means the essence or core, something like that. The heart sutra means uh, heart is the essential part of our internal organ, the, the essential teaching. Uh, what does uh, prajanya mean? We hear that prajanya lots of times in here or in other. Prajanya means uh, wisdom, innate wisdom that's already inherent uh, within, within ourselves, which we do not have to cultivate or hone. Huh? It's already intrinsic wisdom. It's called uh, prajanya. Maha. Maha means, uh, yeah, big, great, infinite, and so on. A match is a light. Candle, it is also a light. But one match or candle cannot brighten this whole meditation hall at night. But think about that. When the sun arises, the whole world will become very, very bright. It can dispel all the darkness of this world, even though they are the same light. Likewise, there are levels or dimensions of a prajanya. Animals also have some innate wisdom. I, wrote, I read some article. Is that five or six years ago that the tsunami swept the Thailand, the southern Asia? When American tourists at that very moment were riding on an elephant, all of a sudden, elephant got very mad and ran towards the peak of the mountain. He was so scared. All of a sudden, the elephant stopped, and he could not dismount from that element. At that moment, the tsunami swept the whole area, and the water level was at the ankle of the elephant. The elephant knew that. But the wisdom of the animals is still different from the wisdom of human beings. Likewise, Mahaprajna means the highest, the ultimate wisdom, supreme enlightenment, supreme enlightenment, the wisdom of the Buddha. Pramitra, Pramita means there are two interpretations of the meaning of a pramita. One is a perfection. In West, many uh, people uh, interpret uh, pramita as uh, perfection. But usually in Asia, they usually give uh, this type of interpretation. Prajanya means uh, crossing over going to the other shore. Going to the other shore, this type of expression came from the Indian tradition, actually. In India, in all the days, uh, big nations were divided by big rivers like the Ganges. Think about that. Yeah. 
at that time, in the old days, there, there were lots of slaves or some woman abused by his husband or whatever in a desperate situation. In order to take some rest, they go to the shore of a big river. And then when they look over the other shore, how would that shore look like to them? At least far better than this shore. Hmm? Paramitra, going to the other shore means going from this shore of suffering to the shore of nirvana. It means from the land of suffering or agony to the land of complete liberation. So. The whole title, Maha Prajna Paramitra Heart Sutra. Consequently, means Heart Sutra. Essential teaching or essential Dharma pra, Prajna Paramita to go to the other shore by what? Through what? By Maha Prajna. By means of our innate wisdom. Through our awakening, we can go to the other shore. That's the meaning of the title of the Harta Sutra. When, you, when we drive to, for instance, to Washington, D.C., We first know where is the Washington DC. We have to know the direction first. Huh? Without that driving our car does not mean anything. In order to go to the other shore, we have to know where it is. What is in Nirvana? We have to clearly understand that. Is that the place or the stage that we do not have to worry about our finance or, or relational problem? Or we see all our children graduate from college or get out of the tap and so When I worked in Seoul Meditation Center, as you know, my first workplace, from time to time I counseled with the very young people. You know what? Many singer per people told me they are so lonely, they would like to get married. They have to meet Mr. Wright or Ms. Wright as soon as possible. I also counseled with lots of married couple. Many of them said they should have remained single. When we observe our mind as well as our life, it always happens. Yeah. On a daily basis, it, it's happening. In other words, uh, nirvana is not in some place where our environment or condition is perfect. If uh, some our environment or condition is perfect, if th that is nirvana, then this contemporary society has already reached the utopia. Do you know what the Greek root the meaning of a utopia, the Greek root, the meaning of a Greek root, non-existence, something that does not exist. In the early industrial revolution period, many social scientists, especially utopian socialists, thought utopia will be realized in a very near future. They thought if they do not have to worry about what to eat, where to sleep, what to wear, then they thought it is paradise. I think most of us do not have to worry about what to eat, what to wear, but our life, our state of mind is uh, still very far from utopia or nirvana.
where is the utopia free from all the state, free from all suffering and the distress? Why don't we read the first passage all together, the Heart of Sutra? The Bodhisattva of great compassion, when deeply practicing Prajna Paramita, realized that all five aggregates are empty and became free from all suffering. And Bodhisattva of great compassion, highly realized the Bodhisattva Buddha. When he realized five aggregates are five components of human beings, body and mind. My mind is very subtle thing. It's a further divided sensations, perceptions, impulses, and consciousness. When the Bodhisattva of great compassion realized five aggregates, his true self, when he realized his authentic self, and then at that time, when means the English translation, when is not that appealing. At that time, he became free from all suffering and distress. Just like the food. Socrates was the know yourself, know thyself. When we know our true self, which is very much different from our conventional belief, very much different from our combat. Then we can become free from all suffering and desire. This is the core of the Heart Sutra. This is the essence of the whole Buddha Dharma. But to think about that. Last night, the dog was chased, had a very terrible nightmare, and he was chased by a very fierce animal, like a tiger or some ghost. Dog came in the dream, find out that some hidden cave, secret cave, so that he can hide himself from the tiger. Or he can run to the store and buy some shotgun, and he can kill the tiger. There are many methods, maybe. But what can be the best method to be away from that fear or worry? Yeah, when we wake up. The most simple and that's the ultimate solution. Enlightenment, in Korean, we call that geda. geda. It literally means awakened, wake up. In English also, Awakening enlightenment is pretty much interchangeable. In other words, the other shore is not in some particular situation or environment. It is the state when we know our true self. That is the other shore. That is the nirvana. According to the Gospel of Thomas, uh, huh? it's not in the standard uh, uh, scripture, Jesus said, if the kingdom of God is uh, in the sky in heaven, birds will be the first to go there. He said, look, the kingdom of God is in heaven, then birds of heaven will precede you. When you know yourselves, then you will be known and you will understand that you are the children of the living Father. In order to know ourselves, that's why we meditate and the scriptures Study scripture. The Garna Juna, which 
systemize all the Buddhist teaching, especially the Mayana tradition said, the cessation of ignorance occurs through meditation and wisdom. Since knowing our true self is that much important and significant in the Diamond Sutra, what is the merit of reciting or studying the Heart Sutra or the Diamond Sutra? Buddha used many analogies. Mary, would you read that, the first two passages? Yeah. That analogy seems like a kind of exaggeration. So in another chapter, Buddha said, the Takta, the Buddha is the one who declares that which is true, he who declares that which is fundamental, he does not declare that which is deceitful, deceitful. And just like the words of Jesus, I truly, truly say to you, he repeated that word in many uh, places. So from time to time, you can contemplate the Heart Sutra. It does not matter you understand this clearly or not, that Mary is as great as Mary just read. Thank you.